Hey yo, what's good guys? This is Pop Dad Ollie back on the Loop Side channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a little baby type loop from scratch. Um, it's gonna be something kind of like his new album. We're gonna try and go for something with piano and some vocals, probably up tempo. But yeah, let's jump straight into it. First thing we're gonna do is grab a piano. So I just loaded up this cinematic piano from Omnisphere. And we're just gonna start uh, trying to make a melody. So let's get into it. First, we're gonna wanna start with the bass notes. Um, I'm gonna change the scale highlighting up here. So let's try and go with something like F and we'll go minor natural. And then we're just gonna start with bass notes down here. Um, I've been plugging with this type of bass note pattern right now. Yeah, so we're gonna use this as our bass layer, copy it down an octave. up here it's a good foundational layer right there so we're just going to start with that i'm just going to randomize it a little bit and then now we can go in for the top notes, so. And maybe even change one of these up. Uh, let's see. Here we go like that. Actually, I kind of want it maybe different key, so let's try D sharp. something else different from the end. Change the BPM. We'll stick with that for now. Uh, uh, we're gonna copy this and then delete it. Now we're just gonna open up another atmosphere and uh, find like a bell sound to layer on top. Uh, we wanna keep, you know, like the sounds, we wanna try and have different sounds in it and not just a piano going absolutely berserk the whole time. Uh, we're gonna load up sonic extensions. Let's try a pool of times. Sounds pretty cool. I definitely recommend you guys get these uh, sonic extension banks. sound we're gonna want to also eq it a bit and just kind of get rid of some of those muddy frequencies and we're actually gonna go in here turn the decay down a bit and then for this sound sound three we're just gonna go to portal and add some uh portal from my bank which is available at popdeadolly.com um, we're just gonna add a little preset in though. This preset I fuck with down here. It's called Bounce Two. Mm -hmm. 
then for the piano, I'm going to change it to a grand piano. Okay, bet. So now that we got those two main sounds down, uh, we're just going to load up contact. And then we're going to go down to this bank, get some vocals. It's called Vocalize Gravity Pack 2. Um, it's by Heaviosity, pretty fire bank, can't even cap. Um, but we're going to go to the phrase menus here. And then we're going to select D sharp minor phrase. Yeah, we are in D sharp minor, so we're good. But down here, what you would have to do is say we were in C, you just have to click here and put it in C. But since we're in D sharp, we're going to go here. I like that sound of that vocal, so we're going to try it out. When you use vocal banks like this, though, it's a lot of trial and error to make sure that it sounds good with the melody. We're going to try and do just like two long notes. Yeah, so those two sound good. Um, all I'm going to do is go and reverb and cut the lows. So bring this EQ in, cut the lows out. Pull up all hollow verb again. Just add a little bit. Bring the mix down again. Uh, we're gonna go here, smooth plate, 1980s. Bring up the low cut, bring up the high cut. Next we're gonna do is add some bass in. So I'm gonna go to Omnisphere again. I'm gonna go with the love bass. This is probably one of my favorite basses. But you want to go in here and turn the attack up a bit so it's smoother and then this release you're going to want to turn that down too so it fades out quicker and doesn't over go over top of each other um but then we're just going to go to piano roll follow our same bass notes i like to put a little pause with my bass sometimes and then go here. turn the volume down send this to mixer and then just cut out some high end bass. also with bass i like to add a second eq and just cut like the very very bottom frequencies up to like around 25 range bring this down and then cut it till it says about like 25 so like right around there it's good I have this one preset um, I might drop it in a kit but this semi reverse ambient key sound it's this preset in atmosphere right here it's but literally all I do with this preset just copy paste it cut out the bass notes uh, and then turn it down so it's really ambient but so then if you hear it with the piano It just adds like little ambient reverses and shit in the background. Randomize this again. Now we're gonna want to strum so we get those little glides and shit. For these notes, I kind of want to turn the velocity down. And then with these type of melodies, I like to go back in and fuck around with the velocity because changing the velocity can give like even just this MIDI here a whole new sound and like give it more emotion, more feeling to it. So I'm just going to go through and listen to some notes and turn them down as we feel we need to. And even shift some over a bit. There we go, now we 
got some more feeling in our melody with the velocity changes. Here, Lone Good and I are working on a one-shot kit right now and a mini portal bank that's going to be available soon. Um, and we'll post about that once it's available, but we're going to go to the phrases and we're going to try... I made this 4PF violin. So we're going to go here. It already auto-stretches too, as you can see. Um, but then you just got to put it on stretch mode and then put it up 300 so we get to D-sharp minor. So yeah, that sounds good right out the box. Don't even need to edit it or nothing. Which is why I like making these kind of phrases and having them just for backup if I want to add into a melody quick. Um, but we're going to drag all this down. And then I also want to find like just some texture or something to fill up the back. Or even maybe a vocal. Yeah, we'll add in some Rainforest Pluck. pretty much the melody now we just got to lay it out into the loop so we're gonna start like this but yeah so that's pretty much how you make a little baby melody um when you render out as a loop you want to always keep two bars because for example it plays out there so if you have your stems right after each other Every single time this piano plays, if someone uses the stem, it's going to bleed out with the previous sound. So that's why you want to make sure you always space out like this. So that the reverb and stuff has time to die down before your next sound plays. But yeah, that's been it for me for the this little baby tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and gained some uh, insight. Make sure you comment and let me know who you want me to make a beat or a loop for a ar certain artist next. Um, I'm down to listen to your guys' suggestions, so just let me know who you want to see in the comments. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to let the full loop play out, and take care. See you guys next time.